fashion lovers worldwide, welcome to AFI's Fast Track presented by Africa Fashion International, the home of African luxury. Now, it's a reality series that sees four up-and-coming designers battle it out to take home a cash prize of 50,000 rands as well as the title of Young Designer of the Year. Each week, our designers take on some rather grueling challenges that are designed to showcase their talent, but also prove to the judges who exactly is deserving of this coveted title. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Unoma Langashozi and I'm your host. This is Fast Track. From all over South Africa, it's time we meet our exciting designers to find out exactly what they're all about. So I am a little bit of a hybrid, so I'm South African, Indian and Irish. I've actually uh, moved from being corporate, I'm an accountant by profession, and I've sort of landed myself into the creative world. I'm 31 years old, I'm from Lesotho. I really love fashion and that is where I see my strong points. I love trends. I love fabrics in general. So I'm Sharon Andrea and I'm from Cape Town. I actually interned at AFI in 2013. I was working with Gavin Roger backstage as one of his assistants and I always thought it would be so amazing to showcase there one day and I promised myself I would enter one day. And it just came by that one day I was checking out the website and the entry was there and I was like, okay, you know what, let me try this here. Hi, I'm Siobong Amjali. I'm known as Sia Baba. I'm the founder and creative director for Sia Baba Atelier. My idea of an atelier is mixing the idea of art and fashion into one. And that's what Sia Baba Atelier is about, just telling narratives through cloth. My, 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 such high expectations. The energy in this room is electric and not without reason. Each of you have earned your stripes in the world of fashion. But most importantly, right now, you're all the finalists for Africa Fashion International's Young Designers Program. And I think that deserves a big round of applause. Congratulations to each of you. I'm so excited to see what you come up with each week. Now, without wasting any more time, let's get into the business of why we're here, right? Let's check out our very first design challenge. The first challenge is sustainability. With global warming reaching unprecedented highs and the world's waste also being the highest it's ever been, can the fashion industry play its part in curbing the rise of global warming and the reduction of waste? In this challenge, our designers will be tasked with creating a clothing line out of recycled materials. Even though the materials used will be from old garments, the designers must give a fresh and creative twist to these designs so they are able to hold their own on any fashion runway. All right, the big word for this week is sustainability. We've been hearing a lot about it in fashion of late, and I think it's gonna be quite important for many fashion designers and fashion houses all over the world into the future. Why do you think that's so, Sia? I think like sustainability is a big thing right now, especially because of the carbon footprint fashion has. And sure. we're trying to create a world for our future leaders mm -hmm. so other designers can enjoy fashion the same way we did. You know? oh, no. I think that's why sustainability is important. You hit the nail on the head on that one. Guys, do you think you have what it takes to take on sustainability as your first challenge for yeah. this week? I love to hear that. Let's see what you guys have got. And off to Durban you go. <laughs> Still to come on Fast Track. We'll have time to go to the beach for inspiration and things like that. Like, I don't have time for these things. I thought I went into it like a little bit too confident and it bit me in the ass. The model was even going, ouch. And I thought, <laughs> if the model's saying, ouch, trust me, the customer is not going to pay to go out. Join the convo and don't forget to click like, subscribe and leave a comment.
coming to Durban is exciting because I really want to learn a lot about the machines, the equipment they are using. Good morning, Fast Trackers, and welcome to Kingsgate Clothing. My name is Ahmed, and I'm going to host you guys today. And we've made available all our facilities in order to put together your garments. And I hope that one of you will excel and win the first prize. So, are you guys ready? <laughs> yeah. Are you ready? Are you ready to do this? Yeah. Let's stop chit chatting, let's go. So guys, welcome to our design center. Uh, this is where we put our garments together and where you will be putting your garments together with the help of our artists here, our seamstress. I thought Ahmed was really hard and like I was excited to work in his factory. Coming to the factory the first time was really daunting. There's so many people working there and it's huge. Hopefully they can bring your creations to life. Anything you need is at your disposal. Everything. Anything and everything. So let's go. So when I walked into that factory and I looked uh, at like some of the older pictures and you see these rows and rows of seamstresses, I just imagined my grandmother around the same time that factory started was working in, in somewhere similar. So team, this is the technical area in our design center. Um, you can sit here, work on your patterns, work on technical specifications to put your creations into life. The team here will be able to help you with anything that you need and um, you can transfer everything onto a computer after that, once you're ready. So for the next three weeks, you're going to be sitting here, you got to slog it out here, and you got to make sure you get the designs out. You ready to go? Ready. Yes. Let's go. Ready. Let's go. Right now I'm at the beach getting my inspiration because I feel like I'm a calm person. Going to the beach was for me to get uh, the inspiration because I wanted to use sheer fabrics, soft fabrics. So for me going to the beach, I just wanted to go there and relax and think about what I want to do with this challenge of sustainability. I am way too stressed to go out. People have time to go to the beach for inspiration and things like that. Like, I don't have time for these things. Like, your inspiration can come from the floor. I saw there were some scraps laying over there and I was like, that can work. So I found some really interesting scraps over there. It's mostly jackets that I'm going to deconstruct because the fabric is too beautiful to just waste. And I feel like I'm gonna go for like a sports at leisure wear. Because I would think I would really, really relate well to my customers at menswear. So I'm super nervous, but low key super amped. I get like my inspiration from the streets. I get my inspiration from people who are very raw, people who are very loud, and people who are uncensored in a way. And the streets is that for me. And I just wanted to like exalt people's vibes and energies on the streets and kind of like display it on my sustainable garment. And I feel like they're more sustainable than bigger factories anyways. So that's a better place to go than on the streets. I do find that my environment definitely um, heightens my sense of creativity. What I loved about this place, I visited it a few years ago with my grandmother and my sister actually, we just had tea there, and I noticed they had concrete floors, but they actually had saris embedded uh, into the floors and then painted over with varnish. And I thought that's such a genius idea to take something as basic and uh, industrial as um, 
concrete and then add color and texture and print using the sari. So yes, I did want to come there. I just wanted to be surrounded by this um, environment of um, color and creativity, a nice vibe of people walking past because I love looking, just people watching and also engaging with the different people in the, in the cafe. It was kind of cool. Now that the designers have done all that they can to bring the sustainability vision to life, it'll be up to the judges to decide which designer came out tops. Still to come on Fast Track. Welcome back to Fast Track, a fashion design competition where designers from Mzansi are pit up against each other to see how they square off when facing some serious design challenges now. I'm really glad that designers Ahmed took some really good care of you when you were down in Durban. But I saw that some of you guys had some good fun with this challenge. Uh, Shamara, you went to an antique cafe? Yes, and I spotted the most amazing silk tie and it really was the inspiration behind my sustainable collection. Beautiful. Kenny, you went to the beach, honey? Yeah, I went to the beach. Uh -huh, to get some I'm inspo. Because I'm lady of suffering. <laughs> yes? I wanted to calm myself okay. so that I can think of what I'm going to do. Absolutely beautiful. Sharon, I heard you went to a thrift. Yeah, I was just yes. diving. Uh -huh. I was just yeah. trying to find if there's some gems and some things that I could deconstruct. So I found some nice things. Absolutely beautiful. Sia, what did you think about this challenge? Um, I thought I went into it like a little bit too confident and it bit me in the ass. Really? Yeah. Well, that's very, that, you know, that's very real. Okay. Uh, but I think the judges will be the judge of how you guys did. Speaking of which, it's time for us to introduce our lovely panel of judges. Firstly, welcome to the show and thank you so much for joining us. Still to come on Fast Track. I don't think nervous is the feeling. I just don't know what to expect. We were also in your shoes pitching our ideas. I am certainly just letting it into the universe. I hope it's received with as much love as I put into it. Join the convo and don't forget to click like, subscribe and leave a comment.